I hope you all had a good night's sleep and uh, especially I am happy to see Sister uh, Timber with us today and Sister Sushila also. So God bless you all and today is a special day because we are going to learn something very special which God wants to speak with us actually. So today I will try to read in Urdu also. So and I have given one Urdu Bible to Brother Amin. So sometimes if I need it, I will request him to. So let's open to John 17. Everyone please keep open the Bible. John 17. So dear brothers and sisters. This is the passage, a special passage of prayer of Jesus. Brother Thomas, you got it or yes. not? Please give the page number again, sister. No, no, no. You I got it. it. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, this is a special prayer of Lord Jesus Christ. And this prayer is for his followers, his believers, and for us as well, those who call Christian, and we are going to celebrate his death and resurrection. As most of the world at present, Christian world, and the believers, they are celebrating 40 days of fast, isn't it? Most of the people, they are in this Roman Catholic Church, uh, 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 <coughs> Anglican Church, and also Orthodox Church, everyone, the biggest congregations, they are celebrating 40 days of fast. And at the end of this uh, uh, 40 days fast, all of us we celebrate Easter celebrations. But when we go into the celebrations, either in the Roman Catholic Church or Anglican Church or Orthodox Church, what we see there from the Last Supper, we see Jesus into the Gethsemane bar, Gethsemane, Garden of Gethsemane. And this is what a celebration starts for the uh, arrest of Lord Jesus Christ and his crucifixion and then uh, his uh, death and then resurrection. So, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we celebrate those things. But when we read into the Bible, especially the Gospel of John, because John, the, the evangelist, was one of the nearest to the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ, the disciple out of these twelve. He was nearest to the heart of Lord Jesus Christ. Why I am saying that? Because word of God says the he who lean on his chest while at the last supper and that was John the evangelist. Two things was the reason of that. First, he was the youngest one in the twelve disciples. The second thing he was also cousin brother of Lord Jesus Christ and because the four people those were standing under the cross four people who sleep ke niche khade hue the jahan yesu ko sleep di gayi ek khatun ka naam likha gaya one woman is called Salome and Salome was the mother of John and she was auntie of Lord Jesus Christ. She was cousin sister of uh, uh, Mother Mary. 
so that's why he was very near to him and he have written more detail after the last supper in in the gospel of john we see the last supper in chapter 13 and crucifixions and things happens in uh, uh, and the arrest and everything happening from chapter 18 so all this chapters are telling about the things happen after the last supper and it's all saying of uh, lord, uh, lord jesus christ very important information of the what is going to be happen after that which jesus jesus has spoken with the disciples yesu ne jo kuch unhe sikhaya ke kya hone ja raha hai uske bare mein paap ruh ke bare mein jo baat cheet hui wo sab in abwaab mein ya chapters mein likhi gayi hai so this is the prayer of jesus because we we read and we pray and as a denominational sort of all the people together we pray lord's lord's prayer jesus prayer for abba father isn't it but actually this is the whole chapter which jesus prayed for his disciples and for you and me as well whole chapter he had prayed for you and me and what he had prayed here it looks like how much jesus was concerned when he was leaving the earth and going back to the place where he came from so we will read first four verses anybody want to read please yes sister after jesus said this mm -hmm. he looked towards heaven and prayed mm -hmm. father the time has come glorify your son mm -hmm. that your son may glorify you for you granted him authority over all people that he might give <coughs> eternal life to all those you have given to him given him Amen. now this is eternal life mm -hmm. that they may know you the only true god and jesus christ whom you have sent i have brought you glory on earth by <coughs> completing the work you gave me to do amen so bhaiya urdu mein pad denge ji 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 mere cha rahe the yesu ne ye baatein kahi aur apni aankhein aasman ki taraf utha kar kaha ke ae baap wo ghadi aa pahunchi अपने बेटे का जलाल जाहिर कर ताकि बेटा तेरा जलाल जाहिर करे चुनाचे तूने उसे हर बशर पर इख्तियार दिया है ताकि जिन्हें तूने उसे बख्शा है उन सब को वो हमेशा की जिंदगी दे और हमेशा की जिंदगी ये है कि वो तुझ खुदाए वाहिद और बरह को और यसु मसीह को जिसे तूने भेजा है जाने जो काम तूने मुझे करने को दिया था उसको तमाम करके मैंने जमीन पर तेरा जलाल जाहिर किया आमीन सो व्हाट द जीसस इज टॉकिंग टू हिज फादर ही इज सेइंग आई हैव कंप्लीटेड द वर्क व्हिच यू हैव गिवन टू मी आई हैव ग्लोरीफाइड योर नेम टू द पीपल to whom you have given to me wo keh raha hai ki jo log tune mujhe bakshe the unko maine tera jalal bata diya hai tum par zahir kar diya i have explained to them i have shown your glory to them and i have completed the job which you have given to me and you have told me to do and then Jesus had spoken about the glory with which he had in eternity 
Verse 5, please. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. So here Jesus is talking about the glory he had already in heaven before he came to earth. वो जब यहाँ ये इस तरह से लिखा हुआ है और अब एक बाप तू उस जलाल से जो मैंने दुनिया की पैदाई से पेश कर तेरे साथ रखता था मुझे अपने साथ जलाली बना दे। He want his glory back because he was a heavenly person अब he have taken flesh like you and me and he left the place and came to earth like an ordinary man and he is praying now he is saying I am ready now I have completed your job I am coming back to you now make me or give my glory back and I want to have it again to be glorified with you in, in, the, in your presence and now father glorify me in your presence which he had already he is not asking something new he is asking glorify me which I had already there so I am coming back there now and then Jesus had spoken about the work of his evangelism which he had done on the earth خداوند نے جو خدمت کا کام زمین پر کیا اس کے بارے میں خداوند بات کرتے ہیں yes from verse 6 to 8 anybody want to read brother thomas verse 6 to 8 I have revealed you to those whom you have given me out of the world Mm -hmm. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. Mm -hmm. Now they have known everything you have given me coming from you, for I gave them in the... I'm sorry, I don't have glasses, I can't read words actually. It's okay then. Okay, sister, please complete that. Yeah. For I gave them the words you gave me, mm -hmm. and, and they accepted them. They knew with the certainty that I came from you, and they believe that you sent me. Amen. Amen. So, यहाँ का खुदा का कलाम कहता है कि मैंने तेरे नाम को उन आदमियों पर जाहिर किया जिन्हें तूने दुनिया में मुझे दिया। वो तेरे थे और तूने उन्हें मुझे दिया। और उन्होंने तेरे कलाम पर अमल किया है। अब वो जान गए हैं कि जो कुछ तूने मुझे दिया वो सब तेरे ही हैं क्योंकि जो कलाम तूने मुझे पहुंचाया वो मैंने उनको पहुंचा दिया और उन्होंने उसे कबूल किया और सच जान लिया कि मैं तेरी तरह से निकला हूं और वो ईमान लाए हैं कि तू ही ने मुझे भेजा है खुदा का काम यहां मुकम्मल होता हुआ नजर आ रहा है द लॉर्ड इज सेइंग दैट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी व्हिच यू हैव गिवन टू मी and especially the people you gave to me I have made them known of you and about your glory and about your power and about your everlasting life there I have done it and they have believed it also it's not incomplete job it's not incomplete he said and they have believed in it and because they, he, they were your people so that means at the time of Jesus those who came to Lord Jesus Christ was already appointed from the Lord to follow Jesus as you and me are also according to the word Apostle Paul says that he have kept Salvation for you and me for the eternity. He, before the world, world was created, He has already planned for you and me. And those who have believed in Him, 
हमें फखर होना चाहिए वी शुड बी प्राउड ऑफ इट दैट वी आर द चोजन वन नॉट आफ्टर कमिंग ऑन द अर्थ बट बिफोर वी वर नॉट इवन इन द थॉट्स ऑफ द आवर पेरेंट्स माइंड वी वर ऑलरेडी अपॉइंटेड इन हेवंस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द लॉर्ड जीजस क्राइस्ट हम उस यीशु का वदन बनेंगे इसका फैसला बनाए आलम से पेशतर ही हो चुका था और इस बात की गवाही खुदा हम यीशु दे रहे हैं जीसस हिमसेल्फ इज टेस्टिफाइंग दैट दैट यू गेव मी एंड आई गिव गिव यू वर्ड एंड दे बिलीव्ड इट बिकॉज़ यू हैव गिवन टू मी एंड नाउ दे हैव कम टू नो दैट यू हैव सेंट मी so what we need to know what we need to believe is the father have sent him to us there's lot of people in the world they don't want to accept it they just want to see him an ordinary prophet or a man who do some miracles but actually jesus was not a miracle making man but he was a man was a person who was sitting with the god on his right hand so this is what he was and he is talking to the father about all these things and then fourth point is jesus prayed for his disciples and church ab khuda mun yesu jo hai apne kilesia ke liye un logo ke liye और जो लोग उसके पास आए थे उनके लिए दुआ करते हैं एंड वट ही इज प्रेइंग ही इज नॉट प्रेइंग फॉर द वर्ल्डली पीपल और अनबिलीवर्स ही वॉज वेरी सर्टन एंड क्लियर वेन ही सेट इन वर्ट्स आई थिंक नाइन इन वर्ट्स नाइन ही सेट दे I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. जी हाँ, खुदा ने यीशु को बताया कि मैं उनके लिए इनके लिए दुर्खास करता हूँ, मैं दुनिया के लिए दुर्खास नहीं करता हूँ, बल्कि इनके लिए जिन्हें तूने मुझे दिया है, क्योंकि वो तेरे हैं. I'm not praying for the world. I'm not concerned what they are, what they are doing. I am concerned about the people, those who have chosen and uh, kept for to be your people in. So I am praying for them which have already come to me, and I am praying for them. And in in a in a, alongside with this, if you, uh, if you read uh, verse twenty as well, please, sister. My prayer is not for them alone. Yeah. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their yeah. message. So, disciples were there. Jesus was talking to them, and now in verse twenty, later on, he says that I'm not praying for these only these twelve people around me. I'm praying for those those as well. Those will come to me through their message. And who are those? You and me. वो सिर्फ यस्सु जो है सिर्फ शगिर्दों के लिए दुआ करके नहीं गए जैसे जो विटनेसेस कहते हैं वो कहते हैं कि मैं इन इनके कलाम के जरिए से इनके पैगाम के जरिए से जो मुझ पर ईमान लाएंगे मैं उनके लिए भी दुआ करता हूं एंड ही प्रेड फॉर यू एंड मी ही वॉज वेरी सर्टन दैट ही सेज आई एम नॉट प्रेइंग फॉर द वर्ल्ड दो आर नॉट गोइंग टू बिलीव in you and me and then jesus concerns about the church and what was his concerns his concerns are verses 10 to 12 please read this sir is it 9 to 12 no 10 to 12 9 you have already read i think all i have is yours mm -hmm. and all you have is mine mm -hmm. and glory has come to me through them mm -hmm. 
I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. So here is Jesus' concern about his people. And what is his concern is? His concern is for the protection for all of us. Why? Because he says, I was on earth, I have protected them already. From whom? Enemy, Satan the devil, the power of enemy. And all these, the, the power of uh, uh, darkness, I have protected them, I have kept them. And now because I'm coming to you, now I'm handing over to you, Abba Father, you protect them. See what is the heart of Lord Jesus Christ there. Did you ever thought he was so much worried about you and me? Kya humne kabhi socha ke Yeshu mare liye itna fikr mat tha ke main unhe akela chhod ke ja raha hu? Aur woh khuda baap se dua kar raha hai ke inki hifazat kar. Ji haan Jesus. Ab baap apne us naam ke wasile se जो तूने मुझे बख्शा है उनकी हिफाजत कर ताकि वो हमारी तरह एक हो सो दे लिव इन यूनिटी सो वट दैट इन दैवल प्लान इज एंड वॉज सेपरेट दैम डिस्ट्रॉय दैम दैट फाइव ही इज अटैकिंग ऑन द फैमिलीज ही इज अटैकिंग ऑन द रिलेशनशिप्स ही इज अटैकिंग ऑन द गवर्नमेंट ही इज अटैकिंग सो ही इज डिवाइडिंग पीपल is not leaving people to live in peace and harmony because he knows the ones the people will say there is a peace peace the family father and the the time of the kingdom will start so that's why his plan was already jesus knew that he says as you and me are one so let all of them should be one protect them now his 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 concern he is worried about unity of all of us he he is worried about uh, the, 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 uh, the the certain that they should not separate destroy the families what is happening in the world in the christian world see we are divided we are divided in the families we are divided in the churches we are divided even in the in the presence of uh, uh, this whatever is going on in the church like nowadays the present issue is the lgbt people churches divided on this isn't it aajkal jo ye homosexuality ke bare mein Church is divided. Some leaders are saying, "Oh, allow them to in the church and bless them also their marriages, which the God have never approved." But we are not listening, and we have never thought of this prayer. Jesus was concerned about it. He want you and me be protected. वो आपकी और मेरी हिफाजत फ्राउन चाहते थे कि शैतान हमें बर्बाद ना कर दे और हमें अलहदा अलहदा ना कर दे और जो दूसरी बात यसु फिक्रमंदी से दुआ कर रहे थे क्योंकि अगर जीजस वॉज अवेयर दैट दैटन इज अबाउट टू गोइंग टू destroy the disciples and the church as well you know he have explained to the disciples as well that what satan is going to do with you when once jesus will not be with them if you want to read it luke chapter 22 verse 31 luke 22 verse 31 luke ka surah injil 22 baap ki 31 ayat mein main urdu mein padh deta hu jab tak and the sister is looking for in, in english jesus said 
शमाउन शमाउन देख शैतान ने तुम लोगों को मांग लिया है ताकि गेहूं की तरह फटके Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift you as wheat, but yeah. I have prayed for you, Simon. So, Satan have asked you to sift like wheat. Nowadays, there is the threshers, isn't it? To sift, sift the, sift the, uh, 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 this uh, wheat. In older times. What you, uh, these farmers used to do, they were holding this uh, uh, wheat uh, uh, in, in, in their hand after cutting them and they were hitting them it on, on, a, on a wood. So the seeds should come out and be scattered over and the chef, they have to throw it into them. So what was the time when people were in गंदुम को काट के उसे एक लकड़ी पर मारते थे ताकि उसमें से दानियां लहर लहर आए सो जीसस इज यूजिंग दैट मेटाफोरिक वे एंड ही इज सेइंग दैट सैटन द डेविल इज गोइंग टू सिफ्ट यू टू स्कैटर यू एवरीवेयर एंड दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंड व्हेन जीसस वाज अरेस्टेड हाउ मेनी पीपल वर विद जीसस एवरीवन रन अवे ओनली पीटर फॉलोड हिम to the the place where the trial was going on and there also he had cried why because he denied jesus three times jesus cast the teen of man car ke se usse rona padta but when he was on cross where were the disciples people were following him thousands of thousand people were following him और उसमें से हजारों लोग जो थे उस पर ही मान लाए थे लेकिन स्लीप के पास कितने लोग थे शैतान ने उन्हें फटक दिया था अंडर द क्रॉस दे वॉज हु वॉज देयर ओनली थ्री वन डिसाइपल बोलते हैं टूडे इज है सेम थिंग विद वी आर लिविंग together we are good for the party we will gather for the for, for the celebrations but to be in christ together to follow christ and come to the cross we are not doing that we don't want to be see the suffering around hum dukhon ko dekhne nahi chahte dekhna nahi chahte hum dukhon mein se guzarna nahi chahte इसीलिए हम बिखरे हुए हैं हम दैट्स आर वी आर शिफ्टेड एवरीवेयर वी आर स्कैटर्ड एंड वी आर अनएबल टू डू द लॉर्ड्स जॉब ही वॉन्ट अस टू बी इन यूनिटी एंड दैट्स वॉट जीजस इज टॉकिंग एट द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वेर ही इज प्रेइंग दैट Abba Father, in verse twenty onward up to twenty-two, please read, sister. John chapter seventeen, verses twenty to twenty-two. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. Mm -hmm. I in them and you in me. Mm -hmm. May they be brought to complete unity. to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me and verse 23 also yeah up to 23 that is oh, okay so main unme se to main unme aur tu mujh mein taake wo kamil ho jaye aur duniya jaane ke tu hi ne mujhe bheja hai he want unity of all of us and he want unity with the father son and all holy spirit with all of us are we united before this easter is coming i want to leave you with this message 
आर वी यूनाइटेड क्या हमारे आपस में एकता है डू वी लिव टूगेदर डू वी आर वन विद गॉड एंड विद लॉर्ड जीजस क्राइस्ट क्या हम उनके साथ एक हैं इज अवर फेथ इज सेम एज द गॉड द फादर हैज इन हिज सन एंड सन हैज इन द फादर and jesus is praying that as you and me are one let them be one this was jesus concern jesus was praying unfortunately the christian leaders i have never heard this message like that we are going direct from the from the uh, last supper into the get some we are not thinking what jesus have spoken before that and this is only john the evangelist have spoken about it so dear children of god think think of it because the lord want us to be united unless we are not united unless we are not in oneness we cannot fight the power of enemy god want to protect you and me in oneness with the holy spirit with the god and with the father and the jesus christ so today is the time to think about this why did jesus pray whole chapter whole long chapter up to the verse 1 to 26 and then he walked to the if you see the chapter 18 verse uh, verse 1 uh, then he went to get some the garden before going to get some the garden he prayed for you and me for himself he prayed in get somebody when he went there he took three people with him who was three those three peter john, john and james get somebody with ja ke usne teen logon ko saath liya aur ja ke apne liye dua ke and what did he pray ho sake agar ho sake to ye pyaara mujhse kar de if it is possible let this cup be take away take away but not my will thy will for himself he prayed only few words is mentioned but for you and me 26 verses he was praying all these detailed prayers are for protection of you and me so please think of it before we celebrate this uh, coming easter services may god bless you and take care of you